make a run, they would make a, a three or some other shot. Well, defensively, what were some of the issues that hurt you guys tonight? Uh, we couldn't get a stop, um, basically. Uh, we couldn't get a stop. They did a good job of um, just playing their game, um, you know, getting to the MVP of last year. Um, and he had another game. Um, yeah, it was just uh, one of the games where they made 18 of 35 threes. So, you know, you got to give up something. And then they, they, they took advantage of that. Kyle, for the most part, the zone has been really good for you guys. Um, and we know that it's effectiveness as a kind of a change of pace in small samples. But is is the zone usage, the the more we've seen of it, is it covering up for any slippage in the man-to-man? -man? Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's a, it's a change of pace, but it's also um, something coach goes to when we feel like we need to, you know, hide and not avoid foul trouble. Um, you know, kind of, you know, mix up the isolation that teams are doing on us. Uh, but, you know, it's just one of those old things where, you know, the zone is effective at times and, you know, it's been good for us. Well, you play with some really good shooters. Um, and I know you joked early in the year how you and Duncan couldn't make a shot during the good times or whatever, but is there something as a leader you can do to sort of keep his confidence up? And are you surprised knowing what you knew of him coming in that he's had these kind of struggles and they've sort of now extended through the first quarter of the season? Uh, I mean, I know Duncan's a heck of a shooter, right? And we all understood that what he is and what he was doing and how he could get the ball off and how many shots he can make. Um, but I think just right now, I just got to keep, you know, not, not necessarily say feeding him and keep pushing him to keep going, but, you know, we got to find more opportunities for him to get more standstill threes and um, threes where, you know, he hasn't, he, you know, defenders are not as close you know, to him. Um, you know, maybe we kind of just let him play decoy for a little bit and give him some shots to, to you know, the easier ones. Um, you know, <clears throat> a lot of our offense is, you know, you know, him moving and getting open and getting handoffs from Bam and getting the shots off. And, you know, who knows, we may need to just, hey, single side tag. If someone helps you, you knock it down, you know. Who knows? I mean, that's not my decision. That's just thoughts. And then on the other hand, is it comforting to know that there's a guy like Max waiting in the wings? So if one guy is off, Max can come in and sort of do what he did today. I mean, Max played great. You know, he's, uh, you know, built off of, you know, coming back from his uh, knee injury and just getting back in the rhythm and to some, to some, uh, a groove. So, uh, you know, it's not all about our offense. You know, our defense is where we should be hanging our heads, hats a little bit more. Um, you know, we still, I mean, we shot 47%, but they shot 58 <laughs> So, you know, it wasn't necessarily our offense. It's, it's more about the defensive end.